where the water is contaminated. We're watching families pack up through tears, leaving their homes behind them that have no value. The right to farm laws were never created for the monstrosities of the factory farm model, but rather to help struggling farmers from the encroaching sprawl happening in urban areas. The right to farm law has several deficiencies, including that its intent was never for industrial-sized animal factories amid rural neighbors. Its activities are largely unregulated by the shortcomings of the regulatory agencies that do not have that have not included the health threats of toxic emissions and have turned away a blind eye to enforcement measures as revealed in the last DNR audit. We have made massive yields by diminishing the quality of our food, the nutrient density of our food. Milk dumping is occurring right now. Bailouts for dairy and cheese and the multi-millions of dollars is occurring and the taxpayer safety net dollars help an industry that has flooded the market with their product and continues to do so and is now following the directive of both Governor Walker and DADCAP in implement, implementing the 3020 plan, a grand scheme to have 30 billion gallons of milk in our state by 2020. We now have less than 10,000 dairy farmers in the state of Wisconsin. Is this the face of failure or the face of success? Water contamination issues are rampant, especially in highly intensive industrial farm communities. Chesapeake Bay, Yakima Valley, Des Moines, and places like Kiwani County, where I'm from. But these point through the most obvious and unstated truth, which is the industrial farming model cannot co coexist with communities. That is, our communities are overburdened with the industrial model of animal and crop production and can no longer shoulder this agriculture that has filled the bins with food lacking nutrient density. Sure, we have more of it, too much of it, but to what end? Our water has become a crisis with high nitrates, bacteria, and E. coli. How is it that in America we could have water in our hometowns, water in places like beautiful Kiwani County that is classified and equated to that of a third world country? The manure in Kiwani County alone surpasses the human equivalent of what is produced in Green Bay nine times over. All untreated waste, this waste has antibiotics, endocrine disrupting hormones, and the very scary aspect of antibiotic, antibiotic resistance that is being found in our streams and in our sediment of our streams where we live. The Declaration of Independence declares this that we hold these truths self-evident, that all men are created equal, and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, and that among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their powers, from the consent of the governed. And that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to this end, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute a new government, laying its power in such form as to then shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. The corrupt opinions of leadership that only serves the current governance and does not incorporate the welfare of the people, the commonwealth, must be overturned.